James Buchanan, A Lasting Legacy. Few men in history have achieved the enduring fame of James Buchanan. Around the world, but most importantly in Latin America, Buchanan is a household name. James Buchanan was born in 1849, and at the age of 14, Buchanan started working for the steamship company W.M. Sloan & Co., providing great training for this young, ambitious man who would later become a famed exporter. In 1868, he joined his brother in the grain and seed merchant business. Ten years later, Buchanan moved to London and became a sales agent for the famous whiskey firm McKinley, where he learned the Scotch business from the ground up. With a love of the liquid, along with an entrepreneurial spirit, in 1884, he decided to set up in business as a Scotch whiskey merchant. Buchanan realized there was a huge potential market for whiskey, but many of the brands sold were too strong in flavor. He set out to create a blend that was lighter, smoother, and more refined. He sought to use only the most mature Scotch whiskies that had aged in casks for a minimum of 12 years. After much effort, he perfected such a liquid, and he named it, modestly, the Buchanan Blend. I made up my mind to find a blend sufficiently light and old to please the palate. This I was able to do and made rapid headway. I need hardly say that I was on the quest for business day and night, getting introductions and getting to know people wherever I could. Within one year, he had his first major breakthrough. He secured the contract to supply Buchanan's blend to the British government in the Houses of Parliament. In 1895, he established his own export department. Keen to see the export potential for himself, Buchanan made a number of pioneering tours abroad to Europe, Canada, the USA and South America. In 1897, he began construction of Glentoker's Distillery in Speyside, Scotland. He later licensed the Dalwini Distillery, and to this present day, it is still a part of all the Buchanan's blends. A man with an empire needs a worldwide headquarters. So in 1898, Buchanan bought the Black Swan Distillery in Holborn, London. It was from here that the famous horse-drawn drays delivered throughout London. The immaculately attired coachmen and pairs of handsome black and white horses soon became a famed sight in London. That same year, the marketing genius won his biggest success to date, two royal warrants from Her Majesty Queen Victoria and her son, the Prince of Wales. This tradition would follow with every monarch since, right up to the current queen. The product supplied to Buckingham Palace, he cleverly labeled the Royal Household Blend. In 1920, in recognition of his achievements, James Buchanan was honored by the king with a knighthood, and just two years later, he received a peerage. He was now part of the establishment, the aristocracy, and the very government itself. He took for his noble coat of arms the phrase clarior hinc spiritus, meaning hence the brighter spirit, which is now engraved on bottles of Buchanan's. When he died at age 85, his estate was worth more than 7.5 million pounds. He left money to people from all walks of life and took care of those who have served him faithfully, leaving many pensions and endowments. His family was bequeathed and still runs the horse farm that he loved so much. Today, Buchanan's is one of the world's leading Scotch whiskey brands, with a portfolio featuring award-winning whiskies. Buchanan's products represent a range of unique and crafted premium whiskies, perfectly blended to suit every occasion, and which share a remarkable heritage and a commitment to quality. Buchanan's Deluxe was introduced in 1925 and is a full-bodied, richly satisfying blend with an inviting aroma of honeyed vanilla notes. The rich malt character of this 12-year-old blend fills the mouth with a rewarding peaty taste balanced by fruit and vanilla. It has a long and intense finish with a pronounced smoky sweetness. In 1992, Buchanan's Special Reserve 18-year-old was launched. It has a complex, rich body with a flowery, fruity nose and spicy notes lush in the mouth with silky texture and a soft flow across the palate. A sweet impression with sherry notes and spice with a long, full-flavored finish. In 2005, master blender Maureen Robinson dug deep into the blending notes and personal archives of James Buchanan to create Buchanan's Red Seal. Recreating blending techniques used by Buchanan during the golden age of Scotch making, Red Seal has a light gold appearance with a nose of dried grass fresh breeze, milk chocolate, and fresh plums. A light taste with apple accents and strong mandarin flavors, along with smoke, ginger, and lime. It offers an uplifting, spicy finish.
Red Seal is meant to be enjoyed as part of life celebrations and works fantastically well with ice and is a great accompaniment to food. As we've seen, James Buchanan is best remembered for the whiskey that bears his name. During his lifetime, he was equally well known for his charitable deeds. Today, the life, legacy and philanthropy of James Buchanan are still celebrated in Buchanan's Forever Charity Concerts, featuring such artists as Sting, Elton John and John Bon Jovi. His commitment to good deeds continues in learning for life and all that Buchanan's does to enrich the lives of those in need. And his exquisite taste and love for Scotch whiskey endure in every bottle of Buchanan's Scotch whiskey.